Hello and welcome to yet another Samba video. Adidas Samba is pretty much the theme of my entire summer sneaker pickups. Although I was not really sure about making this specific video since I know for a fact that Wales Bonner Samba sell out really quickly. But I guess I am making this video which means I have been blessed to pick up not one but both pairs of the recent drop of the Wales Bonner Samba. Honestly, I was only keen on picking up the cream green pair but I decided to go with my gut to pick up the red one as well and I was so happy that I did because the red pair honestly looks a lot better in person than in pictures. But before I dabble on the shoe itself, let's talk about who Wills Bonner is. Wills Bonner is a female luxury fashion designer from South London, UK. She is known for her cultural luxury designs that infuses European heritage with an Afro-Atlantic spirit. The Wills Bonner brand is originally a menswear brand that later expanded to women's wear. Wales has also collaborated with Adidas in the past in other silhouettes such as the Japan and recently the country. Also, numerous iterations of Sambas were designed by Wells Bonner in the past. The box came in white with the Adidas 3 stripe logo going across the box and Wales Bonner is stamped next to the Adidas logo on both sides of the box. The unboxing is pretty straightforward. The shoes came with the pattern laces on, size tags, an extra pair of cream crochet laces, and a wrapping paper. My first impressions upon holding the shoe is that it feels really premium. I like the look of the pattern laces on the shoe, and I am also very excited to try the crochet laces. The shoes are made out of nylon lined with satin. The toe box is finished with suede that runs to the upper, engulfing the eyelids of the shoe. I really like the use of nylon material. It has that smooth texture that creases as the shoes get worn, which I think will look really nice as the shoes get more wear. Looking at the outer side of the shoe, the Wills Bonner text is imprinted next to the three stripes. The three stripes have different textured patterns on it that resemble crocodile skin. Also, the Adidas stripes have sawtooth edges. The tongue of the shoes have the Adidas Wills Bonner stitched on it. The tang has a cream collar with textured patterns as well, just like the three stripes. The back of the shoe is finished with contrast top stitching that looks really nice and elegant. And just like the tongue and the three stripes, the heel tab of the shoes have the textured patterns as well resembling the crocodile skin. The inner lining of the shoes have this cream satin lining which is a nice touch. The shoes make use of green insoles with Adidas Wales Bonner imprinted on it. Both shoes made use of a gum sole. All in all, there are so many little details on both of these shoes which I think are really nice that definitely added a more premium feel to the shoes. Sizing wise, I went with my true to size which is a 7.5 on the cream green while I got a size 8 on the red pair. I got a size 8 because that was the only available size in the said collar. Both shoes feel the same even though there is a half size difference. Had I had the chance to get the red in 7.5, I would have gotten a 7.5. Since the Wills Bonner Samba are just as narrow as the regular Samba, I suggest going half a size up for most people and a full size up to those who have really wide feet. Comfort wise, I find that the Wills Bonner Sambas are more comfortable than my Samba Vegans. I am not sure if it is the nylon material material that makes it more comfortable because it is more breathable but also the insoles feel a lot softer in my opinion. The retail price on the Wales Bonner Samba is 240 Canadian dollars. It is on the higher end of the spectrum and it is kind of steep for a pair of shoes but in my opinion if you have the means I 100% recommend the shoe. Here is a little comparison to my Samba Vegan just to show you guys the differences between the two. The obvious differences are the materials used, the laces, the stitching and the branding having Wills Bonner as opposed to Samba printed on the shoe. Here are some outfits I put together to show how the shoes look on feet. <laughs> And 
there you guys have it for my Wells Bonner Samba review. I can't stress how happy and lucky I am to be able to pick up both of these shoes. These shoes are definitely one of my grails and I think these shoes are my favorite pickup and the shoe of the year for me. I just do not think there's any other shoe releasing this year that I am this excited about as much as these Wales Bonner Sambas. Also, I totally recommend getting these shoes if you're in the market for one. You might just have to pay a lot more for resale now since it's pretty much sold out anywhere. But if you have the time, it might be worth try scalping the internet and look at every store or boutique that sold these on release just so you can save some money from paying resale prices. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did and until next time, stay safe, stay fitted, peace.